Yeah, I think the greatest tragedy is when a person goes in to get help, but they find that the help doesn't change their lives or their feeling of depression or anxiety. Every time you go to treatment and treatment fails, you become more hopeless and resigned to the way you are. And that just, I think, is the greatest tragedy because oftentimes treatment doesn't work until you're ready for it to work. And treatment doesn't work until you're ready to make those changes. If, let's say, you're binge eating and, you know, you're becoming obese and you've gone to an obesity program and, you know, you've dieted, well, in many ways, that's dealing with the symptom. And dealing with the symptom is necessary, but rarely sufficient. And so you walk out of there feeling like there's nothing you can do about the problem. But the problem is, is not the symptom. The symptom is a way of sending out, you know, a red flag that you need help. And if you're binge eating, there's a reason why you're binge eating. And you have to look at the function of that symptom and look deep underneath it in some ways. And so if people are hurting, they're depressed, they're anxious, they're addictive, they're miserable with their lives, and they've resigned themselves to it, they've become apathetic, they've learned to live without a relationship, that's the greatest tragedy. So Marshall Linehan, a famous researcher in this field, you know, says, our goal is not to be able to reverse symptoms, but to give a person a life worth living. And that's really a key element, is I want people not just to you know, deal with their addiction or deal with their depression, I want them to be able to create a life where they're happy. And you know, happiness is not elusive. It isn't some strange thing that we, um, but it, it actually is created by the individual. It's an active process where a person is dedicated to creating joy in their life and does certain things every day to make that happen.